Hey, blessings to you saints. This is Brother Brian, Love Has a Name YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you two prophetic words. One, the Lord spoke to Diana Larkin. One, the Lord spoke to me. I'm going to share them back to back because it is remarkable. This, these were the words that Diana Larkin shared with me. She said it was remarkably similar. Even some of the same words the Lord gave, gave us. Now, I received the prophetic word that I'm going to share with you. I received this from the Lord just moments into a past midnight as we crossed over into February 9th, 2023. I did not actually publish this prophetic word or share it with anyone until I made the video on February 16th. Okay, so I received this word on the 9th of February and didn't release it here on YouTube uh, or anyone until the 16th. The prophetic word that Diana Larkin received from the Lord was February 10th. So she received it the day after. And it is just amazing how the Lord has intertwined, intersected, confirmed, overlapped, and just glorified himself. So I wanted to share that with you back to back. Amen. So we are going to do that here in a moment. Oh, <clears throat> thank you, Lord. I feel his presence just, just coming down on me slowly. I have some uh, stream river sound in the background, hopefully nice and soothing for you. And we're just going to get into it. Amen. All right. Well, today. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Today is February 19th, 2023, Sunday. Um, we're going to. My wife and I are about to take off for about a week or so on a small vacation. Uh, but I have videos ready for you throughout the week. Amen. So I will be also sending videos to um, maybe doing some shorts more than anything. And any cool video um, revelations, any cool instances, uh, God coincidences, supernatural experiences, dreams, visions, uh, interaction with other people, anything the Lord does on this vacation, I will make sure to share it with you all. Amen. So uh, you can look forward to that. I do have a playlist already with past vacations my wife and I have taken and I have <coughs> uploaded videos where I testify of things God has done. So if you didn't know that, you got to check out that playlist. Amen. It's called um, Out and About with the Lord or In and Out with the Lord, something like that. And it's very, very practical. And so I think that not only will you enjoy it, but you will benefit as well because you don't have to be someone well known to be walking with the Lord or for God to uh, be having supernatural things happening for you, with you, through you. All right. All right. Well, let's pray and we'll read these words and prepare for the Lord to amaze you. Amen. Father, we give you the glory. Jesus, we give you the glory. Holy Spirit, thank you for the word of God says that your work is to bring glory to Jesus. So we thank you, Holy Spirit, our helper, our protector, the revelator. You are welcome here, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Glorify your name in this place. Release your power, your presence, your anointing, your love, your peace, your joy, your rest. And may you receive all honor, praise, majesty, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so <coughs> I'm going to read Diana Larkin's prophetic word first, which happened on, which she received on the 10th. Then I'm going to read mine right afterwards, which I received um, minutes later, uh, minutes after crossing into the ninth. All right. Um, so this is the word that Diana Larkin received. It's called the bad news is the good news. And it says, I am a father and I know my children. I know this has been an intense season of battle and warfare for your nation and also for your own personal challenges. <laughs> Draw aside for a little while and breathe in my goodness and my perfect 
peace. You know what? Let's do a prophetic act right now and let's do that. All right. So just take, let's take a small breath in and a small breath out. And then we're going to take a, a deep breath in and a deep breath out. All right. We are one body. So let's do this corporately in Jesus name. <coughs> All right. So nice short breath in. Short breath out. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Father, we breathe in deeply your presence, your peace, your rest. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All right, so the word continues and God says, just for a while, let the battle sounds fade away and be refreshed in my goodness, my great love and my tender care for you. Remember, I am your lifeline. Remember that word, lifeline, all right? We've already, um, there was a key word earlier we spoke with, which is intense season, okay? That phrase, mainly the word intense. Now keep in your heart and in your mind this word, lifeline. Remember, I am your lifeline. Come, drink your fill of my living water. The shakings are intensifying, there's that word again, around you. But do not let the bad news of these events scare you or beat you down. Remain, oh, thank you, Jesus. Remain attached to my lifeline. And I will see you through and give you powerful prayers to help connect people to our help and our love. Okay, so when the Lord here is saying our help and our love, he's speaking of himself as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, three facets of our one God. Remember, the bad news will result in the good news coming forth. The bad news will, will be exposures and destruction of the wicked, and that will clear the way for the good news of my rescue operation to be fulfilled. Watch for the signs of resurrection, resurrection life. Excuse me. The signs of resurrection life that will appear after the shakings are swept away. See through my eyes, my children, and you will be established in my Hallelujah. That's the word. Thank you, God. All right. So <clears throat> the word intense, keep it in mind. The word lifeline, keep it in mind. The word peace, keep that in mind. And keep in mind the theme and concept that the Lord is speaking about a before and an after. He's making a contrast, meaning we are in the intense season right now of battle and warfare. But the Lord is speaking also about two sides. He's speaking of the bad news and the good news, a before and an after. He's saying the bad news will be exposures and destructions of the wicked that will clear the way for the good news. Okay, so we have bad news, good news, exposures and destruction, and it's going to clear the way for the rescue operation, a before and after theme and illustration the Lord is speaking. All right, and now the word that the Lord gave me on february 9th all right just a few minutes past midnight and this is what i heard fiery fiery trials oh the darts of the enemy are coming strong against you my children but do not think that i am blind to it no i know how hard the enemy is coming against you but i tell you be strong and courageous in my mighty power for I will not allow the swells, the waves, the fiery darts to overcome you. Hide yourself under the shadow of my wing in my presence. Hide yourself in me, my children. For there you will find perfect 
peace. Wow. All right, so we got peace there as a connection. Notice the Lord is saying also here, hide yourself under the shadow of my wing. And he spoke to Diana Larkin. He said, draw aside for a little while. Be refreshed in my goodness. Amen. All right, so the word continues here, and the Lord says, <coughs> I am your shelter from the storm. The enemy cannot reach you when you are in me. He will rage and fight and wait, growling, waiting for you to slip up, for him to pounce on you. Therefore, do not step out, sigh my presence. Stay united with me, says the living God. I am your life. I am your source. The storm will continue to rage, for it is coming against all my children. Everywhere. Intense warfare. Ooh, there's that word. Hallelujah. Even manifesting in the earthly realm, in the natural sense, but I will not allow it to overtake you. Do you believe this, my children? Yes, Lord, we believe. Amen. Answer the Lord. Feel free to answer the Lord right now, even as we're reading this. Yes, Lord, we believe you. You must have faith. Your faith connects you to me and keeps you open to be nurtured and nourished by my spirit. Wow, the Lord, I didn't even realize that the Lord used, says your faith connects. That word connects was used in this word to Diana Larkin as well. The Lord said that God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit will give you powerful prayers to help connect people to our help and our love. Hallelujah. For I am, I'm, I'm continuing here again. For I am your life. I am your lifeline. Wow, hallelujah. I don't think I've ever used that word in my life, to be honest. I am your lifeline. I am your life source. When the storm clouds subside and the waves cease to an eerie peace. There's peace again. Ah, yes. Speaking of peace, you hear the, the uh, police car or sirens in the background and... As, we, as I've taught you before, whenever you hear this, take a moment and let the Lord use you. So, Father, we speak peace to the situation now. We ask that you guide the authorities in Jesus' name. May they act in righteousness. May the people and the situation involved be covered in the blood of Jesus. And may only the will of God come forth in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right. When the storm clouds subside and the waves cease to an eerie peace you will see the light of my glory break through for there is peace on the other side of this storm my peace and my rest <coughs> wow so you see the lord is speaking of a before and after he's doing a the similar illustration thank you god now at this at this point in the word as i was hearing this i saw i had a vision of a vertical rainbow and so I began to pray in tongues, and as I prayed in tongues for a few seconds, then the rest of the word came forth, okay? Because I didn't know what the Lord was saying. The rainbow can symbolize many things. And so I just prayed in tongues, for the Holy Spirit is the one that searches the mind of God. And the rest of the word came forth, and the Lord says, For how was it after Noah's flood? After everything subsided, it was a new dawn. I even put my bow in the clouds for the first time in this realm, in the natural realm, for it has always existed in heaven. Praise me. You will come out refined by the fiery trials, stronger, mightier, because you trusted in me. Fear not, for I will refresh your soul. I am your good shepherd, and I am leading you to greener pastures. Expect it, 
anticipate it, look for it, call for it, and be led into it. Follow your shepherd, my people, follow me. Glory, glory, glory. Yes, so that was the word I received, and we read the Diana Larkin prophetic word she received. Isn't it how awesome? Isn't it awesome how the Lord just brought such wonderful connections? Hallelujah. So this was different, but oh, thank you, Jesus. But it was just something wonderful that I wanted to bring you. Some of you, maybe you're hearing this uh, prophetic word that I received a second time because I did release it on February 16th. And maybe you're hearing it for the first time. But now we're hearing it in combination. So praise God. Oh, look at that. Uh, without even planning it, this revelation just came to me. I received this word on the 9th. Okay, so you got the number 9. Diana Larkin received this word on February 10th. So we have 10. 9 plus 10 is 19. And today, without having planned this, it's the 19th of February, which is the day that I'm recording this and I'm gonna and I'm releasing this. So wow. I love God. I love how he uses numbers and all this stuff. And my mind's always just going all over the place, seeing where there's connections. And sometimes there aren't, but many times there are. And because I keep myself open to the Lord and I do my absolute best not to keep him in a box and limit him, he has a lot more to work with. And so you can do the very same thing. All right. Revelation, spiritual knowledge, spiritual wisdom, and all this stuff is all progressive. So... I know that the Lord can bless you also in this way. Amen. God bless you. Father, I release the presence of peace. I release the presence of rest. I release the presence of your love. I release your anointing unto all your people. <clears throat> oh, my Lord. This is awesome. I, so I'm seeing right now, as I was, as I was speaking that, I see, oh my gosh, you know how when a surfer is, is a skilled surfer is surfing and uh, they're on top of the wave and all of a sudden they're, they're kind of moving horizontally, not towards the, the sand, but horizontally. And all of a sudden they're here and the wave begins to kind of curve and almost almost forms like a circle, like they're under like a circle um, under the curvature of the wave. So what I saw was like all of a sudden I saw a wave like this. And it was about, it was almost forming a heart. Wow, I didn't even think of that, Lord. It was coming like this. And I was like, huh. And I'm thinking to myself, is someone surfing? And then all of a sudden, I saw a, per I saw a person. But the person wasn't surfing. The person was just walking through dry ground. And the waters were, were just above the person. And that person, symbolic of you and I, remains untouched. Because we are hidden in the presence of God. God. And even Isaiah speaks that when we go through, uh, how does it say it, Lord? Stormy waters, we shall not drown. When we go through the fire, we shall not be burned. Something to that effect. Maybe one of you knows that scripture very well. Feel free to leave it in the comments. That would be awesome. Amen. Father, we thank you. We thank you. May your people have a blessed day, a blessed evening whenever they're watching this. Uh, all Any prayers while my wife and I are out on vacation would be appreciated. And uh, yeah, look out, be on the lookout for um, a lot of teaching this week. I've already pre-recorded several videos. They're all under 10 minutes. Uh, you may have heard some of that already, but it would be awesome if you would watch it anyway. Amen. It's a blessing to the channel to keep it, uh, keep the momentum going. So that's it for now. God bless you. Look down below to see how you can follow Diana Larkin and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.